Hello, welcome to Think Tricks. In this project walkthrough, we're going to discuss two free projects that I have uploaded in Gumroad. The link is in the description. When you open it, it's going to be in the manual mode. So you have to switch to auto uh, um, auto update so that you get uh, so that you can play around and see. So this is the render that you're going to get straight out of this file. There are six lights, including the skylight. Okay. Uh, so setup is very simple, very basic, uh, I would say. So I'll just show you. Uh, so I have two source, one just a circle with open arc, one circle with open arc and another circle with closed. Okay, and the closed one, I then divided it. So you can see here, I divided it using this parameter, it will be empty. And then what I did, I did some bricker polygon and i added a lot of points because uh, because I'm, i wanted i have added an image so i'll show you which image so then i created a uv project then yes this is the image i got uh, from online uh, i have included that in the reference panel a uh, reference folder so it will be tied up so don't worry and then i scattered that points uh, so when you scatter points uh, using the CD, uh, most of the black will be eliminated because black is zero value. So they could they get eliminated. And in the circle, I gave us a little bit of animation uh, using the sign um, when when the frame when the frame is moving. Okay, so it's like you can see this is what how uh, the movement is that's why you, you can see that swirl coming really nice because of this right so then what i did uh like i put into the pop network and here you have you can see here even here you have the first source is this one first source is uh the one on the left side uh the single one with the animation and the second source is the the closed one with the picture so in the picture i did not do much i just added some pop wind uh, of with amplitude and swirl and a little bit on the, um, the z-axis because because this is facing my picture was facing uh yeah so z is this axis so where i'm facing now is the z-axis that's why i gave the the wind over uh, on z-axis okay so that's pretty much it with this this thing with the picture pop okay and uh, and in the source one i did a little bit of magic so just a small but it's very pretty straightforward uh yeah for just to show you how it's going i'm gonna like this is the final uh, birth i gave so to show you how it's done i'm dividing by 100 because then it's will be faster okay so when you are getting the file it will be 8 million but just to show you i'm dividing by 100 so that it's it'll be what see 8000 so it'll be much faster so in the warp what i did so it's basically the warp that create you can create the same thing um in the geo level so basic one uh curl noise uh in the position and i added with the velocity that is that is in the pop uh and then i normalize it uh, uh normalize it and that's the velocity that's going to be my velocity all right so and then wind heavy wind so this is going to be have a good amount of swirl noise uh and a little bit of expression that i have fit uh, but you can get it from here scale scale by velocity. That's the one I have given So if you click the scale the velocity you get this uh, preset Okay, so that's the only thing I did there and the next one is um, For this next one pop wind I've applied very slight amount of amplitude and very slight of swirl noise That's it just to give uh, you know randomness to add the swirling Okay, and then pop track usual. So here I used um, expression. So here I used expression, which I don't think it is there. Uh, but you can, if you have any confusion, like how I got this. Uh, there's an easy method. Like you can, you can easily get it uh, from property. 
you go to the property okay and use the expression and you go here bring the random anything mass or anything and then what you can do is um, see this is exactly what I have taken uh, if you notice that see it's like fit one random ID and maximum or minimum so I am giving error assistant uh, completely random so this one completely random uh, to that to the pop drag okay so it's very straightforward um, random attribute expression okay and then pop attract yes pop attract I gave four scale minus eight so that it's going to so when when they're swirling it's going to attract back right so i'll show you that i'll just unplug uh, the inner part so i'll just show you only the outside part so you see so it has a random and it also have uh, that attraction so you see this is what the outer source is doing okay so and the inner inner one is pretty straightforward I'll decrease the point okay so it's getting fast so i will oh, come on so i will divide it by maybe 10 okay maybe 10 so that so the why i'm using divided then i would know like later i will know that okay i have like I can just keep this one backspace, then I can see, uh, that, then I will know like, yeah, I kept 50,000. If I change to 2000 or some other, and later after closing the file and reopening it, I will definitely will forget like, what was the value that I gave last time. So, or because all I need to delete is divided by whatever. Okay, so it's just a technique, which is really good. Yeah, this is where yeah you see here so this is very pretty straight straightforward nothing fancy then what I did is I I gave a p scale value normal p scale value uh, so that is create uh, you know 005 is the is to make it very tiny and then I deleted the extra blacks so you can see a lot of blacks okay so all of these are black so I'll, i'm just deleting that some of it okay so that's pretty much it about this file so this is the render you're gonna get straight away nothing no material applied and in the mantra all i did is i i added the samples four by four and minimum to three and no noise like still there is noise uh, yeah there is a tiny bit of noise but this gives you good good enough to play around okay and uh, of course i added motion blur so that's why you get this blur in the side and physical base that's it so the next one is disintegration project walkthrough in this file i have used different character this is what you're gonna get straight out of the project So you could see the character is from Houdini itself. Even there is this disintegration happening to the to the geometry, but you can't see it because it's I'm doing a play blast, so all of these particles are covering. It's the same as the real one, uh, the real one, and you can also see here there is this uh, splash coming out. Okay, so I even did, did that. If you're curious and you, if you want the character that I used, then you can go to the mix ammo. This is the character I used. It's na his name is Mutant. He's right here. Uh, you go to the character, click this one, and then you go to the animation and choose whatever animation you like, and then download. Put it as right now. There's no animation, so I just click this one and then download it. So change this to 24. So because that's a 24 frame is what we are doing so to keep it 24 and downloaded it download it and in, in Houdini you go up here and I hope you guys know but I'm still explaining again film box and what you can do here is like so I'll just explain the uh, the folder structure so here is my lights and camera 
um, that I used and then the simulation is in, in on the left so all these are the simulation when there are preps uh, and I put render because these are the one you have to put the blue tick on while rendering so that you render everything and this you don't need to render because this is just a simulation file and I'm bringing that here Okay, uh, if you guys are familiar with Houdini, then it, there's no point of hearing all of this. Okay, so the prep is pretty simple. Uh, I have a floor, I have a floor, uh, and uh, I boolean it, uh, and it, you can see here. You can see here. This is what it looks like. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but uh, it will do uh, what we are after. Okay, so. I'll I turned on the I turned off the lights and uh, so lines so lines are the one you see this one you see the lines uh, it's pretty it's very really straightforward you can have a look you can have a look at all of this what I want to show you if you want to get exact what I I have uh, then uh, you go to the sim destruction and then on top uh, right now what I'm using is the test geometry from Houdini itself. You can bring an agent uh, It should be mixama.com, but if not then you can select it uh, uh, or, And uh, one thing you need to do is change the input to FPX and bring your file uh, The one you when you downloaded it, All right? So that's how you can bring him and then you connect him to him. Okay, that's it that's it whatever geometry you have you bring it here and connect it and only thing you will need to change will be like I, I have written here manually delete so this one is basically I'm deleting the legs okay uh, it looks so bad uh, okay so here's here's the leg yeah so here's the guy guy or creature and uh, I'm deleting these legs uh, for the splash when when he hits the ground when you when he walks and hits the ground I need I want to have like you know some kind of particles and not smoke uh, I did not do any smoke here it's just a basic pop setup uh, there's only pop involved there's no RBD there's no nothing just the pop is doing everything and some disintegration uh, using delete node it's a very easy setup and you can do cool things that's why I wanted to share this file with you guys okay so it is you can click everything and you can see so here is the tagline then I bring this outline to the to here so see you can see outline so I'm bring it here and then from here I'm basically doing uh, you know the width of the line uh, so these are the these are the two parameter inside to to control your the thickness of or width of your line okay so it's very straightforward and uh, and and it's very basic setup yeah I, I think you can I want you to basic I want you to click and see what is happening why why I did in this way uh, and here see you can see here it's all i'm just bringing i'm just bringing the ring from here from here so it's like this is where my simulation happens and out portal and i'm bringing that portal in here you can see here out portal okay and uh, some disintegration uh, even this one is getting from the out destruction so which is this one you go here so you in the down you can see which is this one so from this one I'm taking taking it for uh, rendering in the ring portal the pop network it starts from negative 24 so I am trying to pre-roll the scene that's the reason why when you open it's loading for sometimes uh, because I basically it's calculating that minus 1 so you can see here minus 24 so it is calculating from minus 24 to 1 that's why initially you have that calculation 
So basic setup. So all I want to tell you is that you, you can change the geometry of whatever you like from here. You go here and change the geometry and it should work. Everything should work um, uh, except there could be there could be uh, the material would be the only thing you might need to do manually uh, depending on your model okay so, but it will be good to go if you have a test geometry coming from uh, from here like you're taking any of this then you will be good to go uh, otherwise maybe you need to do some tweaking to get the uh, materials um, on it okay and uh, i have used constant materials so that it shines so whatever you see in the final result it is uh, it is constant light the constant material is what giving you that glow and i haven't included the environment lights right now environment light environment map is empty uh, you can you can pull any hdri uh, i would suggest some dark hdri of a dark city will be good or like something space you know dark will be good but up to you you can map a new hdri i'm not uh, providing that in here because there's a limitation in gumroad when you're keeping it for free uh, it has to be below 25 mb um, okay but it is coming mutant character himself is coming is coming 35 mb or something and then the hdr is again uh, I'm, i was using two 4k i guess uh, so it was again coming um, you know 15 mb so it was really heavy i mean not heavy as in like 25 is the maximum i can put so so in order to upload i had to remove environment map and the mixamo character mixamo is basically it's free from adobe you can get any uh, character and animation from mixamo and how many ever you want right so i think you will like this file uh, let me know in the comment uh, if you have any doubt on this file it's for free so enjoy